they are, but I'll give you a packet. Okay, guys. Shh. Okay, Ray, would you have a seat, please? No. Where did I put all my packets? No, that's fine. Open your packet, David. Come on. Okay. Okay, okay. iPads, put them away. Don't even bring them to class. You don't need them. You don't, because you're not using them properly. Yeah. What did I do? I almost did it. I don't know what Max was at. Oh, I know. I probably put them in this thing. Okay. What is the discriminant? Shh. You guys, if you want to get out of here on time, let's get this done. What's the discriminant? 12, 13. Okay, shh, 12, 13, we have 13 minutes. I know, because I gave you a list of what you need to have done, and a number of you do not have things turned in, and have not done it, and chose not to do it. Okay, so, okay, you guys, Suzanne, put that away. Put your iPad away, please. I don't want to see iPads out, there's no need to have an iPad out. You'll have to sharpen it. What's the discriminant? You guys have a test on this coming up. A, oh, no. B squared, B squared minus 4AC. Okay. What's A? 3. 3. A, B is negative 4 and C, C is 1. And C is 1. Okay. Just go ahead and square this. Write it down. Oh, she's already done. 16 minus 4 times A, which is 3 and see which is one. Okay, Joe, what's this end up being? What does this end up being? Four. Okay, now do you remember how many solutions are there? Two. Two solutions. 12. Are there questions on finding the discriminant? It's this piece right here. Because it's four times A times C. I'm just using a formula. Okay. So after you get all of these ones, you have negative 4 squared is 16, and then you have to do this, which is negative 4, and then you have to do 18, which is right there, and you have to answer this, which is negative 12, negative 12, and then you get the 16. This discriminant is B squared minus 4AC. If B is negative 4, then b squared is 16. Don't substitute it in, just square it. Can we like go like go through the whole Yeah, we're going to go through the whole thing. Yes. I don't even know what 3 is. Oh, how do we simplify radicals? Now let, do you want Do you remember how to do it? Okay. The second one's easy. Henry, what is the second one? Joe He already is done. No. No. The ones that match, the ones that match go on the outside. And that's a two. So it's two, two, square root of two. And that's just four. So you divide by a prime number. Some of you don't want to divide by prime numbers. How about, do I have this, do I have more? How about the square root of 32? Four. Wait, four. Okay. The easy way to do it is to divide by the prime number. What's the smallest prime number? Two. Two goes into 32 how many times? 16. What can we divide by again? Two. Prime numbers. Remember what a prime number is? And Taylor, put your phone away, please. And how many times does 2 go into 16? 8. Well, let's divide by 2 again. 4. Divide by 2 again. 2. Divide by 2 again. 1. Okay, so every time you have a match, that 2 is on the outside. I match them. It has to be a match. These match, so that's another two. 
because that's the square root of four. Square root of four is two. But what didn't match? The last two didn't match, and that stays under the radical, stays in jail. So this is four times the square root of two. Can we do um, 46? Sure. Square root of 46. What divides into 46? First prime number is two, and you get 23. What number divides into 23? Prime. Nope. 23. And then if I divide that, I get 1. So guess what? You can't do this one. Oh. Are there going to be ones like that on the test? Yes. Wait, can we do the Well, you have to do the worksheets. I know. Now, the last problem is the quadratic formula. What's the quadratic formula? Um, that's right, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. That's the discriminant all over 2a. So should we find the discriminant first? Yeah. Cole, do you remember how to do that? Yeah. Can we do the third one? Oh. That is the third one. I think Britt asked to do it first. What? No, Britt. Okay, what's a? And what's B and what's C? Come on up. Take your choice. Okay, good use of the signs, Cole. He didn't miss any signs, which is good. So, yeah, go find the discriminant. Okay. You have to go to that, but not yet. Okay, so it's 16. Here's the si here's the place you guys make errors is in the signs. These two negatives make a positive. How many solutions will there be? Um, two. two. Okay, now he's going to put it into Now you're going to put it into the quadratic formula. And we're going to simplify square root of 24, so we're going to hit on that again. So he wants to simplify that right away. David, do you know how to do this? In a few minutes. We're going to get this done, so when we get this done, then we go to lunch. So match. And then those don't match, so it's they're underneath the square root. Two times three. Yeah. No. Times one you could do. That's the answer? Well, that's part of it. Okay, so he did the quadratic formula. Which is, okay, you guys, Suzanne, yeah. it's the opposite of B, which is a positive 4, plus or minus. Yes. Ted asked you to leave. Not right now. We're going to go to lunch here, and I can't. I want to get these guys done. Okay. And then it's plus or minus. And then he has the square root of 24, but he simplified it. This is the square root of 24. Friday. All over 2a, which is 2 times 1. That can be simplified more, but we're not going to do it. No, that's that's not simplified. 2 squared of 6 is simplified. Okay? Should have all this done. Should turn it in, and maybe I'll get it done and back to you after lunch. Yeah, put your name on it. There's no place for a name. Any makeup work would be nice.